In this video we will discuss nuclear power plant in the Sahara. In the face of increasing concern about human-caused climate change, there is an urgent need for a global transition to clean energy. Yet in many parts of the world, such as Sub-Saharan Africa, there is also a need for significant increases in energy consumption to improve human development. The focus of this report is one, often overlooked, the pathway to meet these twin challenges of alleviating energy poverty and minimizing greenhouse gas emissions, nuclear energy. The challenges are considerable, but there is a reason for optimism. Small modular reactors, SMRs, and advanced nuclear technologies could improve the feasibility of developing commercial nuclear power in African countries. Through smaller reactor sizes, passive safety, and simplified design, these new nuclear technologies could be easier to finance, construct, and operate. This paper explores the feasibility of commercial nuclear power in Sub-Saharan Africa, especially in light of advanced nuclear technologies and their potential to overcome some of the challenges to deployment. Part 1 outlines the current state of nuclear power deployment in Sub-Saharan Africa. Part 2 gives an overview of what the challenges of deploying nuclear power are likely to be. Finally, Part 3 describes advanced nuclear technology and how it could increase the likelihood of nuclear development. We find that there is significant interest in and steady progress toward commercial nuclear power in sub-Saharan African countries. Yet most countries are still a decade away at least from breaking ground on their first project. Part 1, Current Status of Nuclear Power Deployment in Africa South Africa is currently the only country on the continent with commercial nuclear power. However, Africa has an active nuclear science and technology sector, including several research reactors, and significant government interest in starting commercial nuclear programs. Below we highlight the progress of sub-Saharan African countries across nuclear science and technology, domestic regulatory development, international safety and security treaties, and commercial nuclear power agreements. Nuclear science and technological development in Africa beyond the pair of commercial reactors in South Africa, research reactors are the primary way African countries engage with nuclear technology and research. There are 10 research reactors in 8 countries across the continent, all of them built by foreign entities. Table 1 below gives a breakdown of where these reactors are located, their official names, what type they are, who built them, and their capacities. While these research reactors are used for a range of environmental, agricultural, and medical research, they are also often seen as the first step toward a commercial nuclear power program. 12 research reactors help train scientists and students in nuclear science, radiation protection, and waste management. While there are several universities offering nuclear education in South Africa, a number of other sub-Saharan African countries are now offering courses in nuclear science and engineering. Nigeria graduated its first cohort of master's students in nuclear engineering in 2014.13 recognizing the need for more training. 6. The Russian nuclear company Rosatom offers dozens of scholarships to African students to complete nuclear engineering degrees in Russia. Part 2. Overview of challenges to deploying nuclear technology in Africa. A combination of several factors continues to hamper the development of the nuclear power sector in Africa. It is however worth noting that underlying all these factors is the fear that the risks associated specifically with Sub-Saharan Africa are too much to bear, a sentiment common across project development in various sectors on the continent. Usually, construction costs for nuclear power plants are exacerbated by long lead times, typically taking 5 to 10 years. In a region subject to political instability, expensive projects characterized by long construction periods are highly unattractive for investors due to the risk they carry. This has particular repercussions for financing as the heavy overnight capital costs are borne long before the plant generates revenue. 25 As such, although the life cycle costs are competitive with fossil fuels, the lag between investment and returns is enough to deter investment. Investors will show even more reluctance to dedicate funds to large nuclear projects that cannot easily be uprooted and moved to more profitable locations, compared with smaller, less capital-intensive, more mobile fixtures. Together with the nuclear industry's track record for exceeding projected cost and time for deploying projects, 26 The lack of administrative capacity to adequately manage projects in much of Sub-Saharan Africa will amplify the uncertainties surrounding investing in nuclear on the continent negatively impacting investment prospects. Well, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed watching, if you did let me know in the comments below and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and as always, thanks for watching.